Well, we've had a whole bunch of subscribers asking me, what in the world are y'all growing this spring? I haven't heard anything from y'all. So we decided to give you a little spring tour of our 2017 spring garden. So we'll be right back. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll start with the earth garden and I wanted to direct your attention to these sweet peppers down here. We put them in uh, the perimeter box. I got seven different varieties of uh, sweet peppers because lots of folks always say, you know, all sweet peppers are the same. They're green, then they turn yellow, and then maybe orange, and then red. And that's true on a lot of them, but some of them ripen to different colors like purple. So I've got seven different varieties this year. We're going to make some videos for you to show you different varieties and um, maybe you might want to pick some next year in your garden. This right here is our stand of white sweet onions. It's also in the perimeter box. They're coming along pretty good. They're just now getting into their bulb setting stage so they're starting to look pretty good. On this box right here, we've got some um, Carolina Reapers. That's these first four that you see right here. Nancy's gonna make herself some hot sauce out of that. And that's such a hot pepper, I can already tell you I'm not even gonna taste it. But I'm gonna save some of those and make some pepper spray so I can spray around the outside on some of my plants that the rabbits are picking on. I'll get them with that. These next few plants here, these are Chinese five color and they're kind of a cool pepper and they're a hot pepper and they get all different colors on the same bush so that's pretty neat so we got videos coming of each of these varieties as well so keep your eyes peeled in the days ahead for them up here on our cucumber trellis these first five plants right here are um, dragon's egg i'm going to do a little video for that for you those are a unique looking little cucumber if you haven't ever seen them before uh, check those out this I like the unique stuff and kind of different it adds a little fun to the garden the rest of the cucumbers are the Asian type cucumbers the long slender ones very crispy we love them the best now, right down this perimeter box you can see the red onions and they're coming along uh, you probably remember us doing the part one of that video this year when we planted them and uh, we got a part two coming out shortly of these and you can see they've come a long way since that video was done but that'll be coming out here as soon as we harvest that if we look up in the in the bed itself you can see i got the first two rows are my storage cabbage i got a row of the green storage cabbage and a row of the red storage cabbage and i can get them in real early in the spring here in virginia because we have such a cold long cold spring i'm able to grow these fall vegetables in the spring pretty easily so nancy's going to um, make some uh, sauerkraut out of these two and also some coleslaw and she'll be doing some videos on them here as soon as we get time <laughs> but she's on it this next row right here is some Asian eggplant you've seen us do these in videos before these are the long slender eggplant and she makes some pretty tasty recipes with that and down at the end of this same row you can see some Napa cabbage coming up and um, Nancy's got some pretty cool recipes for that so we'll be harvesting that real shortly you see this row right here right next to the Napa cabbage and the eggplant there's a row right there of black radish and I like that unique stuff you know me these black radish get about three inches in diameter and they're solid black and they're black all the way through the the whole uh, radish so we're going to grow some of them and Nancy's going to make kimchi the cubed kimchi out of that and ferment it so I'm kind of looking forward to that 
And this next row right next to it is what they call giant white radish. These things get about three inches in diameter and about 16 inches long. And uh, that's another um, great candidate to make kimchi, which Nancy will definitely be making kimchi. So we'll be, um, we'll be doing a video on that shortly too. Be doing videos on both of these. We got progression videos coming along on those two radish varieties as well. These two rows of beans right here are pretty cool. They're called purple teepee. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. It's a snap bean, but the difference, the, the cool part about it is they're purple. I like cool stuff like that. So we're, I grew two rows just to try them out this year. Purple TP. We got a video working on those, a progression video. So that'll be coming out shortly too. This next row right here, um, this is watermelon radish. Y'all seen our videos on that before. We're growing that because Nancy loves them things. So mm -hmm. we're going to be uh, growing some watermelon radish so she can cook watermelon radish soup and kimchi and we eat it in salad. It, it's just all around good. I like it when she puts it in the crock pot in place of uh, tomato, uh, potatoes. Me being on a low carbohydrate diet, I done lost 25 pounds and I got 25 pounds more to go. So maybe if I cut out <laughs> and eat more radish, I'll do better. Let me open the gate so you can walk in here. Walk on in and kind of pan around and see what it looks like from the inside. Quite peaceful out here in the garden in the mornings like this. I like it out here. If you look down these two rows right here, these are my um, Korean hot red peppers, gochu, that's what you call them, gochu, that's the Korean name. That's the main staple in Korean food is the, the gochu peppers. So I got two stands of those coming up. And if you'll kind of remember, last year I did a video on how to save the seeds and um, from last year's crop and um, those, those same seeds we planted this year and we made two videos on how to start your um, vegetables from seed and we featured these as the uh, as the starters so we put those um, red peppers and started them in the house and we got a couple of videos on that and this then we came out and planted them. So those are the same peppers from uh, those videos that kind of made the whole transition. And this next row right next to those peppers are um, another row of watermelon radish. And if you look right down here in this perimeter box, you can see um, spring garlic. You remember last year when I planted the fall garlic, um, I saved a lot of the leftover cloves and um, last year in fall we planted them over there in the other raised bed and I saved them. So this spring in March I put these out because they're good in stir fry and, um, and also you get some extra garlic. So they're not quite as big as the fall garlic but they, it's a good way to utilize them without wasting them. So we got a good stand of that coming up. These next two rows right here. Uh, some more beans. These are Dixie butter peas, and this is this is a um, good tasting butter pea, but it's red. I like that. So we got two stands of the red Dixie butter peas coming. Looking forward to that. These next two rows of beans are called swan beans. This is another snap bean, but the difference is, is these snap beans are red. Pretty cool. Looking forward to that. We got videos coming on um, the, the Dixie butter pea as well as the um, red swan beans. So keep your eyes peeled. We'll have those coming out here very shortly. And that last little row right in front of the tomato cages, that's just an extra row of black radish that I put in for my mom-in-law. And you can see I staggered them by about a month apart so they're not all harvesting at the same time. So we'll be getting those to my mother-in-law. 
you can look right along the tomato cages out there, you can see I've got the first three are um, it's some heirloom variety this year called Cherokee Purple. Makes a delicious purple tomato. Uh, it comes out of Tennessee. And uh, they're a little slow getting going this year because we had such a real cold start, but they've got a little traction in the last couple of weeks and they're coming along. So we got a video coming for you on the Cherokee purple tomatoes. So keep your eye peeled. And that last one down there on the end, that's a um, Celebrity 100 um, cherry tomatoes. So we'll get piles and piles of them little cherry tomatoes. Well, let's walk around to the front. If you look down this road right here, you'll see um, two rows of Napa cabbage. This is this is for Nancy. She's gonna make a whole bunch of kimchi out of that, and uh, we're looking forward to that. They're just about ready. We got a progression video coming on that, so we'll be bringing you that Napa cabbage video here shortly too. And out here in the front, this is where I usually put my flowers, but this year I, I had to use the um, bed for Walla Walla onions. And we're doing a video on this as well, so it'll be coming out shortly. They're getting quite big. I need to ring them in again, but they're, they're just at the stage where they're starting to bulb up and get some bulk on them. So I'll ring them in again and get them to where they swell. We can walk over here and take a look at some of the containers and things that we got going. This first table right here, I've got some Ozark Giants in the buckets. There, this is another sweet pepper. I'm just demonstrating on there how you can grow them in buckets, containers, as well as in the earth garden. So that'll be on our sweet pepper video on Ozark Giants. That'll be coming out shortly. And here's an extra tub of uh, potatoes. I separated them from the rest of the potatoes because it looked like it was getting a little blight on it. So it looks like it pulled through okay. So it's some, that's some Pontiac Reds. Here's our fall garlic bed. This was planted last October and it wintered over. And as you can see the difference in the spring garlic and the fall garlic, these things are humongous. And I have three different varieties in here you'll remember from our fall garlic video. We have elephant garlic, hard neck garlic, and soft neck garlic. So we'll be um, harvesting this probably in about three, four more weeks at the most. It's getting close. You can see the, the leaves starting to die back. So we'll, we'll be getting that here shortly. And there's a, another video, of course, coming out on part two of that to show the progression of the garlic we planted last fall. Here's our trellis for our melons. And I got a, a bunch of um, chame melons. And then here at the end, these last four, these last four right here are a new melon I wanted to try called Tiger Melon. It's another Asian variety. Extremely sweet. They get about the size of a softball and they're kind of an orange color. So we'll be bringing you that video shortly as well. So right over here we got, uh, I didn't put out the sweet potatoes this year, but I stole the, um, the table to use some some more tomatoes. This variety right here is called Black Beauty and I wanted to try it this year. It's um, it's uh, got a tomato on it that's solid black like an eggplant and it's not only black on the skin it's black on the inside. It's a pretty pretty good one and it's an indeterminate type so and, and of course it's a hybrid so we're gonna be um, watching the progression of these up till harvest there's a video coming out on the black beauty tomatoes so we're looking forward to that one too and up there on the the, the 15 gallon table i still have the asparagus that we had from you know the other videos and what we're going to do with this asparagus is we're going to save it 
and let it grow again this year and then when we move to our new homestead we're going to take all these containers with us and I'm going to harvest those asparagus crowns out of those containers and we're going to plant them in a permanent bed so they can grow for 20 years. But the, um, they've come along good. We harvested a whole bunch of that out of there this year and you can see it's just loaded. So those are good crowns in there. I'm going to I hate to leave them. I'm going to take them with me. Here's some, a table full of Roma tomatoes, the Italian tomato, 15 gallon containers. I just put in four and you can look up in here. You can see inside they've got plenty of fruits coming out, but it's starting to get warm here and I want to get these, these tomatoes as soon as they get the slightest bit pink, I'm going to pluck them and take them in the house and let them um, finish ripening inside in the 72 degree house because if you don't they they won't put on any more fruit. Here's some uh, trays of extra dwarf pak choy. I'm, I got it out here on the seed starting rack. They spend their entire lifespan inside those containers. Uh, I got some that's a You've seen these before. I've got an um, extra dwarf pak choy video, and this is just some more of them. Here's another um, tray, a couple, three more trays of them up here. You can look at them up close and see the difference, see how they get a little bit bigger. They'll get a little bit bigger than this, and then we'll be harvesting. Nancy's going to make a what's it called a quick kimchi mm -hmm. a quick kimchi out of it so she'll be bringing you a video when these are ready to harvest in the days ahead and there's some more uh, some more radishes and right here's our hardening table i'm using it as a grow table right now it's doing pretty good and right here you can see I got a bunch of uh, bunch of onions they're ready to eat we've been picking at these and making salads and stir fries all kind of goodies with them got a little Charlie Brown cherry tomato bush going right there bok choy plenty of bok choy it's all looking great if we walk around the side over here you can see our patio tomatoes they're coming along plenty of them fixing to start blooming and putting on tomatoes so we'll be eating those with our salads here shortly. Um, so let's let's swing around walk over yonder to the other side and um, we'll take a look at what's growing on the uh, containers on the other side of the yard. Now let's take a look at the grow tables on, on this side of the yard. Up here on this rack here you can see I got three different kinds of radishes going. I just planted these so they, they ain't come up yet. Here's some extra dwarf pak choy so we'll be making some soup out of that. This is our potatoes. You can see we got some 20 gallon tubs and we got some 5 gallon containers. This is the salad bar. We got three different kinds of salad, or three different kinds of lettuce. We got the, the green oak leaf, the red romaine, and the green romaine. <laughs> well, we sure do thank you for taking a stroll around the garden with us. We've had a good time visiting with you and uh, I hope you got a little insight on what to expect in the days ahead. We got several videos coming for you. Just got to get it out of the garden and on the film. So we'll be bringing that to you shortly. So we appreciate you watching. And if you like our videos, please subscribe. Be a part of our YouTube family. So until we see y'all next time, always remember, by his hands, hands, we, we are, are fed. fed. Give us, yes, Lord, Lord, our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. 
like it, it would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.